Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to load and draw a 3D model using the free.js JavaScript library for WebGL. Okay, so first of all, there's a couple of things that we need to add to our project folder. And what we need to do, I've already got a model right here, so I'm using a OBJ file. I'm going to show you where to get the code for literally any type of model format, so you'll be all good to go. You can structure it however you want. I've created a folder called model. But what you need to do is... If we go to the free.js website, spelt it wrong. Go to download, though, download the latest master copy. You know, obviously, try and keep it consistent with the one that you're using, whatever version that is. I'll cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And if we go to downloads, and if you, you know, you just extract it in here, we need the build folder. So if we copy that, open up a new finder window and remember what this one's a lot larger and in here just paste that there so this build folder has the free.js this is actually what we have in index.html we've got it using the web link so as an extra task you can change that so it's using the local link so it's the same version and next what you need to do is go to examples grab the JSM folder. So this is JavaScript modules. It's got a bunch of different stuff. You won't use all of it for just model loading, but it'll require you know different little parts of it. You know some of the modules will you know require another module so it's hard to tell and you know it's useful for later on. So if you copy that paste that in this directory as well. Okay so we're all good to go from that perspective make sure you got a model. The next thing I want to do is actually show you how to you know know the code because it varies a bit depending on the model type i'm using obj i've already got the code in front of me which i'll be showing you but you know it can vary so the best way to do this is again just google free js and you want to go to the github link this time and actually you know we can do it from here because we've got this so you you, you want to go to this master directory you can either go on the github link or here go to examples and i'll do it on here because it's so it's just easier to view the code go to examples uh, if you scroll down to webgl underscore loader underscore loader so these are the 3d model loaders as you can see there's a bunch of different ones you got collada you got asymp you got 3ds and the obj one is right here and obj underscore mtl means with material as well which is the one i'll be showing you so you just open that up and you know it's all in one file all in one html file but what we're mainly interested in is the javascript and you can grab that and i'll recommend putting that in getting it working and then just removing the bits that you don't need or modifying them for you know your, your situation but that's basically what you want to do i've already got the code and it's slightly different but overall it is the same and i'll be running through the code right now so this is just that default cube from this JavaScript code, if you don't have that, highly recommend that you go and check out the setting up free.js video. So first of all, we need a few import lines. So import, we need to import DDS loader, and this is used to load in textures as from, let's put quotation, dot for slash JSM, or slash loader so that's that JSM folder that we put there DDS loader dot js and a semicolon at the end so we need two more of these lines and the next one is going to be MTL loader so the material loader so again this is specific for OBJ files also known as wavefront but you know I've shown you how to get the code if you're doing something like Lada or Asimp or 3ds or FBX models or anything like that but if you do have any issues finding it just let me know and this is called OBJ loader OBJ okay so what we want to do now 
we are actually going to get rid of the cube and the geometry and the material we do not need that at all and after setting the camera position we need a few variables from the bar object this is what we're going to load and you'll be stored in here texture so obviously the texture is going to be applied object loaded equals true so this will track if the object has been loaded or not and the reason we're going to do that is uh, i will show you very soon so we can get rid of this and so what we want to do now is and I'm going to print a few empty lines so it's easy for me to scroll up and down. We need two functions. Function on progress. And it's going to take an XHR. This is going to be empty, but the this function will be called if, you know, it, it was successfully loaded the model. And then we're going to have another one it's called function on error. And if there's an error, this will be called. So you know you can handle it accordingly. Next, what we need is var manager equals new free dot loading manager. Like I said, I just want to reiterate, make sure you know you check out the code on that GitHub page and the examples for that exact specific you know object type that you are using but the process overall will be very very similar and now what we're going to do is see manager dot add handler and this is just specifying how you want to load the textures so this is again something that you will get off that example page and this is going to be forward slash backslash dot dds dollar and again this is from that page it's not something i you know made up dds load that like so there we go okay so what we're going to do now is add a light otherwise we won't be able to see our model new var light equals new three dot hemi light and again feel free to customize the light however you want but this is the one i've tested and looks good for this okay next what we need to do is just set a light position so light dot position dot set of zero 15 y axis and zero z axis again feel free to experiment with this and do it you know based on the way your scene requires it and we just need to add it to the scene we only need to add it the once like so okay so now what we're gonna do is actually draw I mean load the model before we do that we need to load the material and from that we will load the model so new MTL loader and the manager which is what we created up here actually can you just give me a second i want to make sure that, yeah i was just making sure that you can see the cursor and now i create i was doing another video where i removed the cursor just making sure so set path and model for slash so this path refers to this right here so as if the javascript file that we're coding in is relative to this path okay so now what we need to do is load it so dot load and it's called rio dot mtl so it's this mtl file here which is a material file which if i open up in uh, yes i'll open it up in here as you can see it's got a bunch of different you know coordinates positions and it also references some you know images as well that are in here so do not start renaming them if you let's say you've got a model from somewhere or you've exported it because these files will rely on this being that exact name you know if you want to have a different name rename them then export from your you know tool your model editing tool you know such as 
trying to think of the names you know 3ds max or what's that other one maya yeah so like that for example so mtl function and materials uh, okay so now what we need to do sure everything's all good is just put a curly brace I'm going to just align everything there press semicolon and in here is where we are gonna do material dot pre load so we're just loading the material before we actually get the object so it's all ready I'm gonna say new obj loader so now we're actually gonna load the model dot set materials and this is what we've already loaded so we only need to handle loading the materials again dot set path and this could be a different path to the materials but for us it's the exact same model forward slash and then we do dot load and in here we are just specifying the name of the model which is real dot obj function obj so this is what has been loaded or will be loaded and it's semicolon here as well okay so in here we're going to say object which is this variable created up where is it here so object dot no, equal obj and let's say object dot scale and the reason i'm scaling it is because it's going to be too big otherwise again you know you'll have to see based on your model and based on the positioning but this is just some sizes that i've you know determined you know, good for this particular model so y and z is scaling the same i'm going to change the position just so it's easier to see uh, money gonna change the y position move it down a bit so minus one and now we're gonna say scene dot add object and we'll say object uh, that should be object loaded thinking why wasn't it appearing object loaded equals true so now that it's loaded I'll explain what we're doing with that in a second and if I put on progress on error, so these functions will get called if you know if it's progressing or if there's an error, and we should be good to go to run it and actually view our model. So there we go. It just takes a few seconds, you know, while it is loaded, and now let's actually start rotating the model. So we're going to in here say object dot rotation dot x plus equals 0 0.002 again these are just values that i've you know experimented with and i think they you know look pretty darn good plus equals 0 0.005 semicolon reload and we're getting some errors it's going to load and it's rotating now so it's just a red car with you know these textures applied so these errors we want to get rid of so what's happening he's saying cannot read property rotation of undefined so what is happening let me run you through it, it creates this object this function though it is getting called after this as this is being loaded in the background animation animate is being called a few times before the object is successfully loaded as you could see there was a visual you know you know a time delay between the model getting loaded in a real game you might have some sort of loading screen or something spinning to indicate something's loading we don't want these errors so that's the reason we have this if object loaded so i'm going to say if object loaded and only if it's true will we actually start rotating it otherwise there's nothing to actually rotate Okay, so we're still getting an error. Uh, we're getting an error because it should be false. <laughs> it hasn't loaded yet. And error's gone. 
it loads and it rotates we can ignore this because it's just based on the texture but that's fine and as you can see we have a model now so it's really simple really easy to use it to load a model in webgl using the free js framework you know feel free to use more features in the free js framework so it's the best one in my opinion of all the free js libraries it's the one that gets supported the most it's been around for years and you know i've created my own tutorial series on it so feel free to check that out but you know you can mix and match some webgl in this as well so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.